at the end of this video you will understand what Japanese quality means. This video shows the Africa Twin 1000 on the production line at Honda's manufacturing plant in Kumamoto, Japan. Let me know if you have this motorcycle and how happy you are with it. And whether the term of made in Japan is a guarantee of quality workmanship for you. Production of the new Honda Africa Twin begins with the manufacturing of the engine and transmission. This Japanese factory produces around 250,000 motorcycles a year. This is four-stroke parallel twin engine, which will be inside the Honda Africa Twin CRF1000L. Watch how the employees in this factory are professional, precise, and focused on every activity they do. Compared to European car factories, there are lower ceilings in here. The level of robotization here is also lower than, for example, in a BMW or Mercedes factory. Even so, factory workers are assisted by a range of smaller robotic helpers. Anyway, the manual manufacturing process is now considered better, and the resulting motorcycle is considered by many to be of better quality than when assembled using large robots. The Bluetooth integration on the Honda Africa Twin is a testament to Honda's commitment to integrating modern technology with traditional biking. It's not just about adding features, it's about enhancing the riding experience, making every journey more connected and ensuring riders can focus on the road while still having the world at their fingertips. The engines move slowly between the different stations in the factory on a moving belt. Each worker has a predetermined time for a specific assembly. If he is late, a penalty follows, and if he is faster, he can look forward to a bonus at the end of the month. Approximately 10 to 20% of women work in this Honda factory. The entire engine assembly for the Africa Twin is actually a Lego-like build. First, the employees learn a predetermined procedure and then they just build engine one by one. Honda's design choice is commendable from an aesthetic standpoint. They've given the standard model a compact Enduro-style windscreen, which evokes a sense of ruggedness and adventure. It's a design that might serve average height riders just fine. There are continuous quality checks during the production process. Most often, they occur by random selection from specialized supervisors. The Honda Africa Twin is built in Japan and shipped all over the world. However, individual parts are sent to this factory from different places. The first Africa Twin debuted in May 1988 to capitalize on Honda's success. Born at the height of the popularity of the Paris-Dakar Rally, Honda revived the Africa Twin model in 2016 with the CRF-1000L in one of the most anticipated adventure bike launches in history. This engine has dual-clutch transmission option on this Africa Twin model, a feature that essentially makes the bike an automatic. The fuel tank, 25 liters, offers a potential range of over 500 kilometers, thanks to fuel economy of 5 liters per 100 kilometers with MT model and 4.8 liters per 100 kilometers with dual-clutch transmission, called DCT. As you can see, the engine is almost ready and together we will move on to assembling the body of the bike. Meanwhile, the welding and painting of the individual parts of the motorcycle takes place. This part of the motorcycle manufacturing process starts with welding the frame. The motorcycle engine is first attached to the frame. Motorcycle body frame slowly moves across the factory and workers attach all the parts to it one by one. One part at a time and the future bike is slowly starting to be finished. Kumamoto factory began operations in January 1976 as Honda's fourth production facility. 
Now the rear wheel with chain is added first. Located in a nature-rich environment, it is about 36 times the size of the Tokyo Dome Stadium, and the factory is Honda's only production facility for motorcycles in Japan. The site is also actively engaged in environmental protection and energy conservation measures such as no emissions from the source, effective use of valuable resources, and appropriate waste treatment. To keep things nice and simple, workers on this line have the power tools they use for each of these tasks that they repeat hundreds of times per day, handily suspended in mid-air over the line. In this part, the front fork is attached with the front wheel, followed by the handlebars of the bike. The idea of Africa Twin was a bike that could go anywhere, from highways to dirt paths. To find that balance, Honda kept the overall length of the bike relatively short. In fact, the wheelbase was only slightly longer than the XRV750. The new Africa Twin's parallel twin engine layout and an emphasis on keeping the mass of the bike centralized and low made that possible. Honda employed tricks like a unicam head design similar to their CRF motocross bikes and balance shafts integrated with the oil and water pumps to keep the power plant dense and low. The delivery of individual parts that are then assembled on the assembly line is a demanding logistical activity. All parts are usually shipped by truck or rail from various sub-supplier smaller factories, not only in Japan. The factory is open 14 hours and every day of the week except public holidays. The salaries of the workers vary depending on their position and their experience. In general, salaries here are slightly above average compared to the general population. The original V-Twin, Africa Twin, was first sold in Europe from 1988 to the final production year of 2003, but was never brought to the United States. The CRF1000L has also been seen as a response by Honda to the heavier on-road focused adventure touring motorcycles such as the BMW R Ducati Multistrada and Triumph Tiger Explorer with a lighter, more off-road focused machine. Now the bike is almost ready and the worker just adds the plastic covers. The finish machine will now be thoroughly tested and all the electronics and onboard computer will need to be set up. Finished new Honda Africa twin bikes are already waiting for their new owners, but first they have to be ridden and tested by the Japanese factory's quality check workers. And now begins the quality control and the first start of the bike. This Honda Kumamoto factory has three complete vehicle assembly lines and a cell line. As you can see now, this bike is really huge and looks really gigantic next to this Japanese worker. The Honda Africa Twin has dimensions, 2300 millimeters in length, 963 millimeters in width, and 1520 millimeters in height with a wheelbase of 1560 millimeters. Designed with ergonomics in mind, the Honda Africa Twin provides a comfortable riding position that allows for long distance journeys without sacrificing control and maneuverability. Its spacious seat, adjustable handlebars, and well designed foot pegs contribute to a fatigue free riding experience. Keeping up with the demands of modern riders, the Honda Africa Twin is equipped with advanced technology and connectivity options. From a multifunctional LCD instrument panel to smartphone integration and optional navigation, it offers a seamless blend of convenience and innovation. Now, the quality assurance testing is done. Technicians check that the lights and horn are working before testing the engine and controls on a dyno. Aside from the bigger engine, which produces 6% more horsepower, 
2020 saw the Africa Twin arrive with a narrower frame, a redesigned swing arm that takes inspiration from the CRF 450R motocrosser and new suspension internals aimed at making the bike more stable both on-road and off. In 2018, Honda added the Africa Twin Adventure Sports to its lineup as more of a long-haul machine with a larger fuel tank, more suspension travel, and a host of accessories now included from the factory. Despite the current trend in the middleweight adventure category, Honda has managed to produce an exciting, competent, tech-heavy machine that allows for adjustability that can suit a wide range of riders from experienced veterans to aspirant adventurers. After the bike passes all its tests, it's finally ready to roll off the line and go on to its next destination. So this was my story of how the Honda Africa Twin is made in a Japanese factory. If you want to support me, I will be very happy for your like.